for acceleration offsets and scaling, uh, by default there's zero, zero, zero offset in the XYZ and everything's scaled to one. So the data is what it is. Um, if you rotate the sphere, you can see that just around here, the sphere is not meeting the sphere. And here you can just kind of see that if you use your imagination a bit, you can see that the data is coming off the sphere. We can move to the data and see how you can see here the data is off to one side and it's in the sphere here. So there's a definite shift in one or more axes. So what we can do is we scale it a bit. Um, pick an axis let's say let's, let's pick the z-axis so if you do hold down control and right click on this little um, thing up here and get it so that we can we get a definite plan view of one of the axes so we've got uh, y here and z up and down so you can see the z is below here and it's inside the sphere here so we need to shift the data up so what we do is we can drag this little slider in one direction that's the wrong direction so we slide it back the other way until it sits. Best judgment, it sits. You can use your mouse wheel as well, or you can enter, you can enter values here and click set if you like. But it's easier with the sliders. Um, and then if you hold down Control and right click, pick a another axis. So we see these the X now. So here it looks like it's ever slightly coming out. And it's ever so slightly in. It might be easy if you. Ooh, maybe not. Let's have a look. Let's uh, let's pick some more data. Let's go back to here. Um. Yeah, it's ever so slightly out. The data here is just outside the sphere, so we need to shift the data back to the data this way to the left. So this is the x-axis, which is red. So I always get it wrong the direction. Yeah, got it wrong again. So let's go the other way to about there, a little bit too far, and let's look for the the y-axis. So we've got again. It looks like the data's inside the sphere down here. This is the y-axis along here. Okay, and it's it's off the sphere here. So we need to shift the data to the right this time on the y-axis. You don't have to perfectly line it in the plane. It's just easier for when you're to determine which axis you're looking at. Um, so I'm going to do is sort of shift this one to the right. Yep, got it wrong again. Other way. And then look at this data. It's a little bit more on the sphere. We'll just bring it to the right again. A little bit more. Okay. So I think we're, we've actually gone too far on the z-axis because this data is sitting off the sphere. So now give myself a turn around as to which axis I'm looking at. Um, yeah. So I think the z-axis has gone too far because this data is ever so slightly off. I'm ignoring the data that's out here, way off the sphere. I'm trying to look at the data that's, in my best you know, best judgment, should be sitting on the sphere. So I'm going to reduce the z-axis offset slightly. Just going to mouse wheel up a bit, slowly, slowly, and just check. Um, I don't have enough enough data in this data set to really prove anything to my, myself but um, yeah this data is inside still so we need to still need to shift it more on the X maybe we should have gone the other way like that Z is still too far down so little small tweaks until you're happy that static data like around here see how it clings to the sphere and 
it's not perfect but that gives you um, your offsets and then if you go to input output file output save and then click export time uh, date offsets that creates a TDO file which if when you load, load your data file again you can go input output file select load and you can load the TDO file and that will automatically um, on the 2D sliders it will set the acceleration offsets for you it'll also do the scaling if you change those I mean you could have something horrendous where if I put 1.1 there where the x-axis Okay, so the x-axis is horrendously um, pushing the data out but not on the other axes so this is where you would that if that was one then you would put that to 0.9 or 0.85 or something something to basically make it one to one or one to one to one um, so I'll put it back to one um, that's how you do your offsets